All right, so we have the circle diamond squared test sample out of the machine. Uh, the first thing we're going to be doing is taking some micrometer measurements on this part. Uh, we're going to be do, do, to do that, we're using um, a Mitutoyo 0 to 1 inch tenths micrometer and then a 1 to 2 inch uh, Mitutoyo tenths micrometer. Both of these micrometers are equipped with uh, friction thimbles so that the uh, pressure applied during the measurement is the same and it's calibrated. We're gonna do all the measurements that we can with these micrometers and then when we're done with this, we're gonna chuck this part up in our lathe and true up the uh, center boss and then uh, chuck the uh, run out or the TIR of this boss and essentially what we'll be doing there is chucking the roundness error that was produced from the interpolation uh, move to create that boss. We marked the coordinates of the, um, the orientation that this part was in when we were machining it. So this direction is the X direction. This direction is the Y direction. All of the measurements that we take here are going to reference those directions so that we can use the data to determine if the uh, machine is out of spec in either the X or Y direction. So I'm gonna first start with uh, measuring the boss. I'll do that in the X direction first. So it looks like I'm getting a measurement of 0.749 and about one tenth. So that was in the X direction. Now I'm going to check in the Y direction. So that's reading 0.749 and probably between one and two tenths. Now I'm going to check the diamond. I'll be doing that, um, let's see, this is the X direction, so I'm going to be checking this direction first, and I believe I need the 1 to 2 mic to do that. I'm getting a measurement of 1.238 and one tenth. 1.2381 in that direction. In this direction. I'm getting a measurement of 1.2 two, three, seven, one point two, three, seven, three in that direction. Now I'm going to move on to the square. I'm going to first check the X direction. And I'm getting a measurement of 1.7506. That was in the x direction. 
in the y direction. I'm getting exactly 1.750 in the y direction. Okay, so to measure the roundness of the boss on top of the circle diamond squared test, we loaded it up into our engine lathe. This lathe is equipped with a four jaw chuck, and basically what we did was trued up the parts so that we achieved the least amount of run out on the boss as possible. This is a good practical way to measure the uh, run out, or sorry, the roundness of a uh, feature. It's not the most accurate way possible, but Considering that I know that the spindle bearings in this lathe have about a tenth of run out, this is a good practical way to measure this uh, roundness error. Um, as I said, I trued up the boss to the best that it could be trued up, and what's left in terms of what the indicator reads is the roundness error. So I'm going to slowly rotate the uh, chuck, and we'll be able to take the roundness error measurement on the indicator. So the highest number that I've seen is about five, maybe six tenths. This is a Mitotoyo tense indicator. Um, so for those watching at home, thinking that the indicator is moving around a lot, this is a very sensitive indicator. So six tenths of uh, roundness error is what I'm measuring on this boss, which is honestly pretty good considering this was uh, this feature was interpolated. If we wanted to get better roundness on this feature, we may consider uh, using a boring head. Uh, to do the finish pass on this, but for an interpolated move, this is honestly really good.